Hi, Year 11. So it's now week three of online learning and this is lesson one. Now, in your uh, Google Classroom, you will notice that I've put, uh, I will be putting messages for each of you following the Year 11 uh, mocks. I'm also going to be doing a DIRT lesson with you, but I'll be doing that next week um, or possibly towards the end of this week, but more likely is next week. Um, so that I've had a time to uh, look at more closely at uh, or you've had a time to look more closely at your papers okay so for this week we are still on the, we're on the topic of healthy living um last week we looked at similar things this week it's called the sorry my presentation seems to have stalled okay here we go the title is estar en forma so it's talking about being being in shape or being being healthy um the objectives which are, should be appearing now. Okay, All right, as a starter, can you have a think? How many healthy foods and drinks could, can you, or do you know? So, para empezar, the statement here is para estar en forma, to be in shape, para no engordar, so as not to put on weight, I eat, I don't eat, I drink, I don't drink. So just, Five minutes, please. Think about how many, here we are, cuantas comidas y bebidas sanas. How many healthy foods and drinks do you know? Okay, fill those in, please. When you're ready, move on through the video. Okay, so I'm assuming you've written some, had some ideas there of healthy or unhealthy foods and drinks that you can have. This week is all about vocab, about healthy eating, different meals of the day. Uh, doing a writing possibly, and then setting targets later on in the week. So the first task today is a listening. The sound file is in your Google Classroom. It's four people talking about what they eat. So que comen. I'd like you please to write down as many of the foods and drinks that they mention as you can. Okay, so pause the video here so you can see the grid to fill out. It's just basically one, two, three, four. Write down next to those foods and drinks that you hear them mention. When you're ready, move on. Okay, so the first person mentioned agua, pescado, verduras, fruta. Second person, pan, batatas fritas, carne, coca-cola. Third person, pollo, carne roja, ensalada, lechuga. Sorry, that's misspelled. There shouldn't be a U in it. Tomates y zumo, plátanos, yogur, huevos, leche, carne, cordero, and tenera. Other vocab, vitamins, vitaminas, sal, grasa, y azúcar. Um, I've made a few spelling mistakes in that, which is unlike me, actually. So I'm just going to go in there and just correct them. It should be lechuga, cordero. Where boss has an H, even though you can't hear it. The other ones, I think, are fine. So that's what you should have heard and written down. So if you didn't get any of those, can you please add them in now and make sure you understand what they mean? Okay, when you're ready, move on to the next, move on in the video. Okay, so this, if you were filling out for yourself, what do you eat? I eat, I don't eat, I drink, I don't drink. Around the side, you've got de vez en cuando, from time to time. Frecuentemente, frequently. A veces, rara vez, siempre, nunca. So that is where you could fill in with foods and drinks that you have. And here is the vocab that I'd like you, sorry, like you to use. Um, some of this was mentioned already. Other bits you can find out, please. So can you use this to fill out your grid from the previous page. What do you eat? What don't you eat? What do you drink? What don't you drink? And how often? This is foods rather than drinks, actually. There's a, about three drinks on there. You may want to add other things as well, but mostly it's going to be water, milk, tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Okay, so when, you've, when you're ready, pause the video, fill out your grid. When you're ready, move on. Okay, so slightly more detailed language being used here. Que contiene, the verb contener, which is stem changing, just like tener, is used to say what is what things contain. So 
el pan integral contiene. So pan integral is wholemeal bread. So what does wholemeal bread contain? Think about it. It's fibra, sal, grasa, azúcar, vitaminas, proteínas. I'm not going to give you examples of this. It's, these are just ones that you could use, for example, in a piece of writing about healthy living. So I prefer to eat wholemeal bread because it contains fiber, less sugar, vitamins, and so on. So just work through these sentences, looking to make sure you understand what the vocabulary means. You've got wholemeal bread contains, fruit contains, hamburgers contain, fish contains, and eggs contain. And then underneath, you've also got some qualifiers and quantifiers. Now, remember those need to um, agree with what they're describing. So you've got mucho, for example, might go with um, something which, which is masculine and singular. And in fact, there isn't, uh, or el azúcar, yes, el azúcar is masculine, so you get a mucho azúcar. But you might have mucha fibra or muchas vitaminas. Poco means not very many. So poca sal, demasiado sal, for example, too much salt. Okay, so pause the video as long as you need to understand and write that information down. When you're ready, move on. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, um, I'm just gonna put these up. Here are the meals and here are the verbs. So el desayuno, breakfast. To have breakfast, desayunar. La comida is lunch or just a meal. The verb that goes with that is comer. El almuerzo is also the word for lunch. And the verb to have lunch in this case is almorzar. La merienda is a snack. It's a sort of thing um, you go home from school normally at about half past three, quarter to four, and eat, eat half the biscuit tin, or um, have a snack, so la merienda, from the verb merendar. And the last meal of the day, la cena, so dinner or supper, is cenar, is the verb. So you've got the meals on the left-hand side, the verbs on the right-hand side. Okay, when you're ready, move on. Now what you're doing is listen, not, you're not listening up at all, sorry, this is a reading. What I'd like you to do here is to look at the questions and fill out, fill, sort of fill in the gaps with these, some of the words here. Um, you don't need all of them. There are seven gaps and there are nine words. So make sure you don't uh, go wrong. Okay, there are a couple too many. So pause the video, write up these sentences in full, please. And when you're ready, resume the video. Okay, so the first one you should have got is something. So it's que, que te gusta comer? What do you like to eat? The next one is que comes al mediodía? What do you eat at midday normally? The next one is in the morning, so it's going to refer to breakfast. Que desayunas cada mañana? What do you have for breakfast each morning? The last one, or sorry, the next one is the last meal. Que cenas por la noche? Because it's in the evening. Que sueles beber? You need an infinitive there because it's coming after sueles. What do you tend to drink every day? Que comes raramente? What do you rarely eat? And que intentas evitar? Now, if you didn't know that one, make sure you understand now that intentas means to try, intentar is to try. So what do you try to avoid? Evitar to avoid, intentar to try. Correct with a red pen. Make sure you understand what you didn't get right and why before you move on. Okay, now just I'd like you to write a few sentences. What do you normally eat? What do you drink? What food do you try to avoid? So using uh, similar things we've just seen, just write out those three sentences, please. Filling all those three sections, filling in with some appropriate foodstuffs. Pause when you're ready, move on.
OK, now the main bit of the grammar today is about for, sort of now and before. So we've got on the left hand side here. Healthy looking guy. Como mucha fruta y verdura. He, he says I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I drink a lot of water. I sleep eight hours a night. I play tennis and football. I go to the gym and I do a lot of exercise. This is now present tense. Como, bebo, duermo, juego, voy, hago. This is how he used to look, apparently. He seems to have um, grown more hair as well and got a bit younger. But anyway, before, we've now got, which tense is this? You should recognise that as the imperfect. I used to eat a lot of junk food. I used to drink a lot of beer. I, I used to sleep four hours a night. I used to play cards rather than tennis or football. I never went to the gym. No, iba nunca al gimnasio. No, hacía ningún ejercicio. I didn't do any exercise. Now, you need to write these down as examples. If you're given a writing task, and we don't yet know exactly what assessments will be following, but there will be some sort of writing assessment. We haven't done one yet, and you do need to be able to inter interchange easily different tenses so you might get a situation where what do you what do you normally eat and drink what do we use what do you used to eat and drink so you need to use the present contrasted with the imperfect now the next slides look at this um, by reminding you of the imperfect tense those ones we've just seen the imperfect tense. Now I'm going to just go through this. You need to pause and uh, resume as and when you need to. This is just a reminder of the, uh, the form of the imperfect tense. You take the stem and add a different set of endings depending whether it's AR or ER or IR verbs. With some examples. There are three irregular verbs in Spanish in the imperfect. Ser, ver, and ir, those are the verbs, those are the formation of the verbs in the, in the imperfect for those three verbs. You need to write those down, please. And then we're going to do this exercise. So you, you can look back at the previous slides to check the um, formation. When you're ready, pause the video, do these sentences, please. And when you're ready, resume and we will correct. That came up a bit fast. So hopefully you've now paused and you've done the work and now you're resuming. So the first one was cantaba todos los días. We used to work. Trabajábamos los jueves. You were wearing a blue shirt. That's this sort of describing it. Oh, you remember that day you were wearing a blue shirt. Llevabas una camisa azul. There was a lot of noise from the verb haber, había. Mucho ruido. We used to go for a walk every evening. Dábamos un paseo. We were learning a lot. Aprendíamos mucho. And here we've got a contrast between the imperfect and the preterite. It was raining when I left the house. Llovía cuando salí de casa. So have a look at those carefully. Check you understand what the answers should be, that you've got them correct. And if you got them wrong, then go back, look at your verb tables, look at the brief reminder of the imperfect tense a couple of slides ago, and then go through these again and practice more. OK, there is a listening now, which is going to take you a few minutes. So the sound file is in Google Classroom. It's people talking about their lifestyle now. Is it healthy? Was it healthy before? You need to write in, in English. Take as long as you need on this. So get this sound file up, play it, go back, repeat it, check it. Make notes, get as much information as you can. And only when you've done as much as you can without sort of checking the answers, should you uh, resume the video and move on. OK, so pause the video now. Find the sound file with this screen in front of you then fill in the detail as much as you can. Okay, so hopefully you've now done that. 
and I'm just going to reveal the answers for you. Now, there was a lot of information there. If you miss things out, things like maybe three times a day, tres veces al día, three times a week, tres veces a la semana. Um, comida sana, healthy food. Comida basura, junk food. Then all of that information you do have. And if you're not sure about vocab, look in the healthy eating or the food section of your um, the vocab that I put up at the beginning of this year, the AQA vocabulary, which is on your Google Classroom from the very beginning of September. So check and correct that work as carefully as you can, please, before moving on. OK, so this is just a reminder of the objectives for this week. Healthy eating, different meals of the day we've looked at today. Uh, we haven't written a parrot. Well, you've, you did write some sentences, actually, so you have actually applied that vocab. You need to think all the time about what don't you know and what do you need to do to improve? So set those targets for yourself each time. And that is, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that's the end of the lesson one for this week, year 11. And thank you very much for your hard work.